library should be the heart of a school. And uh, the teacher librarian who plays an integral part in, in what we do in education, or should. When I first went to my principal, I said to him, I want the library open as long as the gym is open. Kids know if they're wanted in a place, and they know that they're wanted here. It's a place where everybody has a voice. It's a place where everybody's participating. It's an active place. It's not a passive place to sit down and listen. It's bursting and, and it's loud and kids are there all the time. It's a really great place. Getting the stuff is not the problem. It's about what is the student going to do with it and what kind of new knowledge are they going to produce out of it. And that's where the thinking comes in. And that is the, a massive change for library work and something that makes it exciting. Kids might be able to navigate the, the interface, but they don't know how to analyze and you know, evaluate and efficiently utilize the information that they encounter. And that's a skill that needs to be taught. Just because they can move a mouse doesn't mean that they know how to access the full ramifications of using technology and the internet and everything that's there, because it's quite overwhelming. Kids now have in the palm of their hand uh, a computer and technology that wasn't available 30 years ago or even less and so if we can embrace that and, and use it in a productive way then uh, we'll not only uh, close this uh, generational gap between us and our students but uh, also promote uh, literacy uh, by way of uh, technology. We've adopted a bring your own device pilot in our district and so most students and teachers can bring devices and use them in class and so how do you do that effectively, safely, in a good way? So you can lock it all down or you can help them learn. They have to internalize what it is to be a digital citizen. And what better place to learn that than in school? Are they comfortable with the technology? Absolutely. Are they really sophisticated about how they use it? Not necessarily. We teach the teachers and we teach the students and we teach them vital skills that they need and then there's a light bulb that goes off for the teachers. That is important for them to know, but I couldn't do it so I'm so glad you're here to do it. Okay, there you go. If we can't get books in the hands of kids, they're not going to read them. A teacher librarian wants the books off the shelf in the hands of the kids. It's very powerful to be able to tell the kids, there's 12,000 books here, what are you interested in? There's very few places left, especially in elementary, with the curriculum so packed, that kids get to explore what, what they want. A librarian really has to have a passion for literature and a passion for, for language and for reading that they can pass on to a student who might not otherwise be motivated. So the way I get kids excited about technology and books is through book trailers. They speak technology, they speak book trailer, they understand it and it engages them and it gets them excited about reading. We have a vision. We've been in the classroom. We know curriculum. We understand what the teachers need. We understand what the kids need. If they want to learn something, if they want something that's going to help them in any way with their education, we want to be able to say yes. So what you want to do is engage the learners and you want to provide exciting learning experiences with adult coaches around. You know, this notion of the library is a place you go to and you check in or whatever, uh, it doesn't apply anymore. Um, you know, the, I always get the kids to remind me and themselves that the library is everywhere. So we see the big picture of student learning, we see the big picture of curriculum, uh, and we want to help find success however we can do that. What I do is I talk to teachers and say, what are you working on? What do the kids need to know to be successful in your class? And then I know what students need to know to be successful in school and life. We're thinking about very high level learning, critical thinking, uh, creative thinking. We need to be about student learning. We need to be about student outcomes. And we, that is job one. And, and we need to really focus on that. I think it is the most exciting time in education ever. Yeah.